One man is in the hospital today after an overnight stabbing on Cincinnati Street. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Tatiana Favela. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is in West El Paso with more. Well, walking along Cincinnati Street this afternoon, you can still see droplets of blood on the sidewalk, and there's a puddle of blood on this rock out here. And I spoke with a DJ from Rock and Cigar Bar, and he told me that he heard people screaming, and he ran out here to help, and he actually found the man who'd been stabbed. So we put pressure to his wound, or whatever the case may be, so he wouldn't bleed out. So and that was on that rock over there. Um, and so, and then, and then we stayed there until EMT arrived. The DJ of Rock and Cigar Bar says he was surprised that someone was stabbed on Cincinnati, but tried to stay calm and help the victim. El Paso police reported that the stabbing happened at Rock and Cigar Bar, but the owner of the bar says he had two bouncers in his bar and nothing took place inside, adding that the area is becoming more violent lately. Cincinnati's always been kind of known for having a little bit of extra violence, and uh, we used to have uh, the police would walk the streets and kind to take care of a lot of that. Um, uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, Cincinnati is getting kind of back to that reputation and we need to put an end to it. EPPD has not yet released the name of the man who was stabbed or said if they have anyone in custody. The owner of Rock and Cigar Bar tells me that there have been a lot of fights lately here in the Cincinnati Entertainment District, saying about a week ago someone actually ran into his bar bleeding, asking for help. Reporting in West El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. Thank you so much.